Hello and welcome back to Friday Mimis. We messed this up last time, so let's try it again, hopefully better. Here's the deal. Did you know that, in fact, many files on your computer are in fact secret archives? You see, most of the time when you open a file in a text editor, they just look like gibberish. What this means is they are binary and we don't really know what they mean. Sometimes this binary encoding is proprietary in a sense that, you know, the program itself has come up with its own method of encoding information. And probably that program is the only thing that knows how to extract that information out of that garbled mess. However, that is not always the case. For example, if we were to take a doc file, which is a Microsoft Word document, we can drag and drop it into a text editor and we see gibberish. But as it turns out, it is actually something that we can try to comprehend. You see, a Microsoft Word document is in fact a 7-zip archive. And what that means is, if we were to give it a .7z file extension at the end, we can then open it with a package extractor. As you can see, it opens just fine, and we can see some files contained within. Another example of this, surprisingly, is a .jar file. Jar files are basically Java executables, as in if I have this jar file here and I double-clicked it, it is actually a program. It is actually something that I can interact with. Except it is also an archive. If I were to rename this to .zip and I were to double-click it, as you can see, well, it opens. It is actually an archive containing a bunch of .class files which, if you're a Java programmer, you'll know that class files are what is actually executed by Java. Moving on, this one might be a little bit more predictable, but it is an EPUB file, which is basically an ebook. If you were to rename it to .zip, you'll find that you can open that as well. And in fact, its contents are a series of web pages. These web pages represent the contents of the book itself. So there you have it. Because these files are secret archives, they achieve compression, they are a collection of multiple files in one place, and well, as a programmer writing an application that uses this sort of files, it makes it easy for them. They can have as many files as they like when something is saved, and yet they can still you know, recover that information easily without having to write their own encoding scheme. So yeah, if you're coding something that requires a write to file in a complex manner, consider using an archive format to stick everything together into one convenient file. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Hopefully I did fix my little blunder from last time. But yeah, that's all. I hope you learned something today. But until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.